My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it's great to be here. It's been a wonderful, uh, so far, weekend. You still have, uh, what is it, half a day and tonight. So uh, for me, it's been a great joy to be with all of you and uh, uh, a great blessing. I hope that for each one of you, it is also a special moment of grace as we gather uh, for this, uh, our uh, City of Saints 2017. Um, your faith, your love for Jesus, your desire to live your faith and share your faith, it is so beautiful to witness. And it is so inspiring. So you made my weekend. And the Dodgers are winning, so. <laughs> they lost today? No? Oh, good. <laughs> Don't give him bad news right now. <laughs> so I want to say, as we heard St. Peter say in the, in the, uh, in the gospel passage tonight, tonight, it is good that we are here, Lord. Thanks be to God that we are here. Let us keep praying and, uh, uh, and uh, working uh, to bring uh, many more people to see your saints every year. Our gospel tonight leads up to the high mountain, the mountain of God. It is almost like we are chosen witnesses to go up with Jesus, just as he chose the three apostles to go with him in the gospel, St. Peter, St. James, and St. John. The transfiguration of Jesus shows us the destination of our faith journey, the goal for Christian life. It is an amazing scene. The face of Jesus shining like the sun, his clothes turned into white light, just like this thing, you know. This is not working. There you go. All right. So we are there at the Mount of the Transfiguration. The great prophets Moses and Elijah appear of, out of nowhere. And then, of course, we hear the voice of God He's speaking from out of a cloud that covers the whole sky. It is totally amazing to imagine what we see. And my dear friends, this reminds us that our lives are part of a great mystery, a cosmic reality, the loving plan of the living God. Each one of us, you and me, we are part of the plan. You also probably noticed the first reading we heard tonight from the prophet Daniel, another fantastic scene. God on his throne, surrounded by wheels of burning fire and a surging stream of fire. It's like Star Wars, isn't it? <laughs> and the Son of Man comes on heavenly clouds and is given power and glory forever for, for over all peoples, nations, and then watches. It is amazing just to imagine what the readings of today's Mass are talking to us about. It tells us that our life is bigger than we can ever imagine. Whatever is going on in our lives or in the world, all the news and events, the wars, the politics and celebrities, God's plan is still going on. What God has planned for you, for every one of you, it is so amazing. The purpose of our lives is to be transformed and transfigured, to become more like Jesus every day of our lives, until one day we will shine like the sun, just as we saw his face shine like the sun in the gospel today. This is God's plan for our lives, to be his sons and daughters, not just to be a celebrity, 
or a, a, a wealthy person, or a very intellectual, or a very successful. Much more important than any of that, as important as it is, especially uh, talking about celebrities around those here in Los Angeles, this is much more important than anything else. Just to be his sons and daughters, as Jesus was and is his beloved son. Amazing. Think about it. Stop and think about it. So, how are we going to be able to respond to that beautiful plan of God for us? How are we going to do it? It's a big question, obviously. But we have the answer in the gospel. We hear God's voice coming from heaven. This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. My dear friends, Jesus is the answer. Listen to him. This is the best advice you will ever receive because it comes from God himself. God the Father is telling each one of us today, once again, as we contemplate the beautiful transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ, listen to him. Let Jesus be your teacher, your coach, your personal trainer. Enter into his plan for your life. It is a plan of love, a plan that will lead you to happiness. But listening is not easy. I want to share with you that I had the blessing just a month ago uh, to go to Mexico City uh, for a pilgrimage of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles to the Shrine of Our Lady Guadalupe. It was a, the first official uh, pilgrimage, at least since I came to Los Angeles. And I hope that we can have it every year. It was great, just celebrating Mass at the Basilica uh, where the image of Our Lady Guadalupe is. It was beautiful. But then something happened. For the first time, I was able to listen. I don't know what happened. It's the grace of God, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm hard of listening. Uh, because I've been there hundreds of times to that beautiful shrine. And I always am amazed by the image of Our Lady Guadalupe. And I know the words and everything else that she, what she talked to, to St. Juan Diego. But this was the first time that I really had time to stop and think of what she specifically say, said to Juan Diego, to say Juan Diego. And it's a beautiful uh, uh, program of evangelization of a Christian life. Talking about vocation and mission and everything that we talk about this weekend. Our Lady Guadalupe said that to Saint Juan Diego uh, in 1531. And it's a beautiful plan for Christian life. And I was thankful to God that finally I listened. So I really suggest to you tonight to make the effort just to listen. In the same way that you listen to your music and you put those things here. <laughs> we, you all do it. I mean, I do it just when I'm in a plane traveling, but not when I'm walking. You all do it when you are walking. <laughs> At least that's what I see. Uh, uh, listen to Jesus. And it, how, how can you really say that you are listening to Jesus? Two things that I suggest to you. Prayer and reading the Gospels. For me, that's been essential in my, in my life as a Catholic and as a priest and now as a bishop. Prayer and the Gospels. Just talking to God, listening to him, having a conversation, stopping and talking to Jesus, to God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Asking questions, giving thanks, asking for grace. Just talking, having a conversation. And then making sure that you read the Gospels. You can do it. Just get download a Bible app. No, it's not that difficult. I think it's free. And then when you have a minute, you can just read a little passage of the gospel and get to know the life of Jesus. Big difference in your lives. 
So the more we pray, the more that we have that relationship with, with Jesus, the more that we listen to him, it is easier to be, to, to be just like him. Then, slowly, with the help of the grace of God, we have a transfiguration in our lives. We start to think and act more like Jesus, more like a child of God. And it's a beautiful thing. Again, it's a, it's a challenge. Jesus, uh, uh, when the transfiguration happened, just before that, Jesus is talking to the apostles about his passion and death, and he's asking them to follow him and leave everything, and then he shows them who he is. My dear friends, Jesus is perfect God and perfect man. Listen to him. I'm sure that you are doing it. But today, let us ask for the grace that, as it happened to me in Mexico City a month ago, to be able, this time, once again, to especially listen to what God is asking us to do. So as we continue the celebration of the Eucharist tonight, let's try to think about this. Just as Jesus changes the bread and wine into his body and blood in the Eucharist, in the same way, he wants to change our lives into his image. And maybe you can keep in mind the words of those three saints that I talked to you about last night. St. John Paul II, who is going to make the Dodgers world champions. Uh, <laughs> I think, it, I think if they don't win it, I'm not coming back to <laughs> see <serious. laughs> you well, he said, be not afraid. Said Mother Teresa, be somebody to somebody. And Mother Luisita, for greater things you were born. So let us always go to our Blessed Mother, the Virgin Mary. May she help us to listen to Jesus and to be transfigured. And may she help us to transfigure our world into a city of saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.